Welcome back, friends. We're starting a new series today. I've actually been asked to react to Has Been Hotel by a lot of people, but I just didn't want to put more work on my plate at the time. But nobody told me that this show and Hell of a Boss, you can just upload it without editing anything. And the editing process is by far the most time-consuming or costly part of reacting to stuff, so the absence of that makes it so much more appealing to watch. So yeah, I know nothing about this show, except now I know it's on YouTube, and that it's an animation, that's pretty much it. But because so many people have been eager for me to watch this, I'm pretty excited for it as well. And yeah, I switched things up on Patreon very recently with shows I'm catching up on. I'll be two weeks ahead at the early reaction tier and four weeks ahead the full reaction tier, so check that out in the link in the description below. Leave a like, and let's get started with Has Been Hotel. Spindle Horse presents... At the end of the rainbow, starting with a musical number, and to find it, how often I've tried, but my life is a race, just a wild goose chase, and my dreams huh. have all Ooh, that's a pentagram. Been Dissonance. I wonder if oh, it takes place on Earth. I wonder if it could <laughs> be me. Whoa. I'm always chasing Fuck you, heaven. <laughs> Whoa. Drifting by. Your days are numbered. Welcome to hell. Oh man. <laughs> Porn Studios. Oh. They just murdered somebody, didn't they? <laughs> Crossed out the name. The recycling heads? Jackpot Hotel, Devil's Diner. Next cleanse. Whoa. That was a very upbeat song for a bit, and then it took a very interesting turn. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! Are you though? <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah. Listen, keep this discreet. You hear me? I can't let it get out. I'm offering my services to randos on the street. Hmm. It's a quick cash grab. You got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. <laughs> Ooh, so many I fingers. Schnuck him. Back up. Foam on my head. Whoa. Drugs. The vending machine. Angel dust. Yoink! Oh! Oh my god! Are the drugs okay? No! Damn it! It's harder, harder than money. Those are the cowardly sinners. Dare not hinder my territorial takeover. A wise decision. The power of my <laughs> machines are unmatched. No other demon can compare to the likes of I. Gee, that was pretty sweet. Number 23. Boss. 66. Yeah, you really showed them what for. I liked when you shot them with your ray gun. I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. <laughs> Pew, do it. At this rate, I will seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. And nothing, not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. Yeah, they're popping champagne, or whatever that is. Hell will 
be mine. And everybody will know the name of Sir Pet. Lord! Pardon? Who said that? What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Oh. Speak up! That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. Whoa. That's a whole bomb. <laughs> You looking for a fight, old man? Ooh. Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it? More. More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> <laughs> six 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 Good news. Afternoon. I'm Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Katie Trish. Killjoy. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Cherry Tom. Bomb. After the recent extermination, nice. many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are huh. already duking it out to gain new territory. <laughs> Those two seem to really be going at it, huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. Tooth and I sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a limp. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview oh, with Princess of Hell. Oh, Princess of Hell. Head Honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. Mm -hmm. All that and more. After <laughs> the break. Suck it oh, up, man. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay. I like reading the text at the bottom, too. Yes, let's do this. Just. Look at me, and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Baggy. I know what to say. I just feel like we Passion need to... Passion project? I don't know. Make things sound more exciting. Oh, what if I sing? sing a song about it? You knew I was going to say that. Because I know you. But please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. Uh, oh, of course you are. Life isn't a musical, hun. Fine, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are She's the so best cute. Parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. <laughs> is this a drawing? Yes, that's the. I feel like I know this voice actor. Everyone smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just in heaven. please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Oh boy, okay, you know she's gonna fine. sing. <laughs> I'll just have to result to my impeccable improv skills. This is gonna go horribly. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have the Wow. Yeah? How wow. That? How's that working out for you? Look. <laughs> My time is money, so I'll keep this short. Jeez. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give up flying fuck <laughs> about what some tucks wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live. <laughs> Welcome back. Go, oh. Charlotte. It's... Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion Jeez. project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well... <clears throat> Go as on. As most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. Spark. We We just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps oh. we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Is this the good place? Think, yes. It's the freaking good place. That's what this project aims to achieve. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. Oh, cool. And she's gonna get laughed out of. You know, because oh. hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks you hear what she thinks. She <laughs> oh, she's nuts. I Does heaven get overpopulated though? 
place to work towards redemption. Yay! I think some people would be into that. Some of them. Look, <laughs> Got every decked. single one of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. If the princes of hell can have Maybe something I'm not good deep down inside. You. Oh no. Oh no! I have uh. a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Inside of every demon is a rainbow. Inside every sinner is In a, a rainbow. Smile. Inside of every demon, hatchet wielding maniac is a jolly, happy, cupcake loving child. Oh. They'll be heaven bound with just a little time down at the happy hotel. She's too. too cute. The volume junkies, freaks, and weirdos, creepers, fuckers, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I saw the dark side come out for a bit. No more screams. Just puffy dogs and cotton candy dreams and the puffy wolfy clothes. You're gonna be like, wow! Once you check in with me. So why you don't you want to make your video and for the prediction vision? Whoa. <laughs> Rabies. Aww. <laughs> uh. How did that song go down? Go over. Wow. That was shit. <laughs> uh. Makes you think a Nine single circles. denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person. You have no proof that this little experiment even works. You want people to be good just because? Well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who oh. might that be? Oh, just someone named. Angel Dust? The porn star? You oh. fucking would, Tom. In any case, <laughs> that's not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, Jeez. I beg to differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Great two weeks? News. Oh, crap. We are receiving word that a oh, new crap. player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. And it's Angel Dust. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed. It <laughs> looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than porn actor Angel Dust. What a juicy coincidence. You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> the ratings! The ratings! Aww. Well, it sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. Tell us. How does it feel yeah. to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, well, how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch! Ooh. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Hey, thanks for the backup, Angie. <laughs> Yo, kid, this is the best Angie. I've seen in ages. Where you been anyway? I thought you up and died or some shit. Oh, I wish. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Uh. <sighs> you know, no fights, no pranks, no problematic language. Her words, not mine. <sighs> These crazy bitches are no fun. I've been clean for two <laughs> weeks. Holy shit. Well, sorta of clean. As clean as you can get on a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got yoinked oh, and slammed. Hi, Daddy. Oh, jeez. Son? No, not, not son. No. <laughs> have no class. Oh man. The side remembered is the side with the most 
Style! Or the side that ain't dead. Speaking of style, is your hat, like, alive or something? Oh, well, that's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> now is it? Would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? Mm. Ooh. How Even his own egg. Blow you to bits. Look at the little smile. Kinky. Oh, not like that, pervert. That's a... Not it looks so like a flashlight. Now, are we? You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Uh, I've been <laughs> making these sex jokes the whole time. Ooh. It's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, oh, a little bit, maybe. I'm gonna cause. Oh! <laughs> oh man! You know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? <laughs> oh. baby. And what happened? Oh. Eye twitching. <sighs> what? 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 What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? I Helping friends guess. with stuff? Not with turf wars that results in territorial genocide. Eh, you win some, you lose a few hundred. <laughs> Jeez. It wasn't that bad anyway. Come on, uh, too. My credibility was on the line. I mean, what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? It just throws out my entire persona. Your credibility? <laughs> what about the hotels? Uh, Your little stunt made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are funny. I made you look... Uh, sad. Pathetic. And pathetic. Like an orphan. With oh, no. Or legs. Oh no. With progeria. Great. Progeria. Now I'm bummed thinking about it. This thing of any liquor. Can you please just try to take this seriously? Fine, I'll try. Just don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you talking taco. sexist or racist? Whatever pisses you off more. Is and there seriously no liquor in here? <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna kill him. Too late, but wait. Uh. Would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used uh. to it. Listen, who cares if some <laughs> Jagoffs got hurt? Uh. Some are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down You're one to talk? Hey, this body is flawless. Oh. Everyone wants some of me. <laughs> and I got the creepy fan that is to prove it. Oh, you just keep it there. Show me. Oh, that my God. really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? <sighs> uncool. After that train wreck. There is no way anyone is going to want to stay at the hotel. All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit. Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Ah, well, shucks. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Baggy. It'll be okay. Oh. Do they have that kind of relationship? Baggy? Welcome. Oh, no. This is... I'll say it again. Pathetic. <laughs> they can get it turned around, right? Pop. Seize. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> Aww. Mom. The Queen of Hell? Hey, Mom. Um, I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. No. Really busy. But, um, Jeez. the interview didn't go well, and I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, Mom. I, I think Dad was right about me. What? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyway, I'll stop Should I say Jesus in the show? This gets long. Uh, love you. <sighs> Bye. 
I was like, mom's bad, how's dad? And dad sounds worse. Oh man. Customer! Oh! Radio what? demon. Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in. <laughs> what if he wants to get better? May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Great Depression. So many Entertaining. Stop right there. I know your game, and I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, you would have already done it. I would have done so already. Oh. Now, yeah, I buy that. Because I want to help. Say you do? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? <laughs> Testing? Well, I heard you oh. loud and clear. Um, you want to help with... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. This hotel! What, for your I entertainment? I help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> Why? Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! <laughs> I lacked inspiration okay. for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I have come <laughs> to crave a new form of entertainment! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? Maybe <laughs> not. not. Oh. That's wacky nonsense. Redemption of <laughs> non-existent humanity. Uh. No, 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 no. I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners. The chance given uh. was the life they lived before. The punishment is this. There is no one doing uh. what is done. So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Consider an board. investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment, only Sisyphus. to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fire. Pushing the rock up the hill. Failure. That does sound fun, doesn't it? Right. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help? Oh man. Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with Smiles over there? Wait, Smiles. you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. <laughs> the Radio Demon, one of the most powerful beings Hell has ever seen. Thanks for the exposition. Politics. Ugh. Ugh. Decades ago, <laughs> Alistair manifested in Hell, seemingly overnight. Manifested? He began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never Whoa. been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Jeez. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. Ooh. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery. And, and we'd love to work with him. Of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. Deal. Dan, he looks like a strawberry pimp. <laughs> well, I don't trust him. To be fair, do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men. Charlie, listen to me. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. It's pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... we don't know that. Look, I know he's bad, Can we take and I risk, he though? probably doesn't want to change. But the whole point of this is to give people a chance. Oh. To have faith, things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. Everything I believe in. No. Just trust me. I can take care of myself. Charlie, whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't 
worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Oh, okay, man. so now you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. But I Whoa. don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then. Oh god. <laughs> That's some wacky power. You're just gonna shake his hand? Uh, no shaking, no deals. I. Hmm. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Uh huh. I, I think that is okay. Is that fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. No deal. <laughs> Smile, my dear. You know oh. you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> I definitely want to wreck him. <laughs> so where is your hotel staff? Um, well. that's it. Oh, you're going to need more than that. <laughs> You'll and what be providing. Do you do, my effeminate fellow. I can suck your dick. Ha! No. No. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. Favors. We have staff now. <laughs> is it terrifying or cute? This little darling is nifty. Hi, I'm nifty. It's nice to meet you. Cute, I guess. It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is filthy. It really needs a lady's touch. Which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Nope, nope, nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Lots of energy. Nope. <laughs> ah, read them and weep, boys. Oh. More help. What is happening? Hell? What There's the a lot of is this? detail and you. attention put into this. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Glad you could make it. Don't you Husker me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Husker. I was about to win the whole damn pot. Good to see you too. What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. I ain't <laughs> fucking charity. Maybe. <laughs> well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job Ooh. was made for you. Uh. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. Cheap booze. What? You think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Yes. Well, you can. Hey, 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 hey. No, no bar, no alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind alcohol of is sin? Now, brothel man king. Shut up. Shut up. We are keeping this. Oh, oh okay. Only if you watch me. Oh my Guys, god. Welcome to the happy hotel. You are going to love it here. She radiates the ability to love goodness. Years ago. Aww. So, what do you think? This is amazing. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> you have a Keep shoving her. You wish to tell. He sings too! And it's just Whoa. but hey kid, what the hell? Cause you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. But we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. Oh. <laughs> she really wants to kill him. And show these simpletons some proper class and style. Class and style. Oh, hibble on the ground. I'm sure your plan is sound. They'll spend a little time down at this has been home. Whoa. What happened? Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the striped freak. We meet yet again, Alistair. That's so cute, Do the way I they. Know you? 
Oh, oh yes, you the do. way they're animated, drawn. And this time I have the element of surprise. Surprise. Well, damn. Oh, splat. More splat. Is he getting dragged down to double health? Damn. I guess we're not seeing them again. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> starved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me Ooh, a wonderful I love jambalaya. jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Aww. Yes, sir. This is the start of some real changes down here. <sighs> the game is set. Happy Hotel. Now. Has been Stay Hotel. Tuned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. I thought this. Was, I thought this was 30 minutes. Was that really already the entire episode? Is there a post credit scene? Aww. Monica Franco. I gotta look up that uh, actor and see what else she's been in, because I feel like I recognize the voice. Very hectic, very fast-moving um, episode. A lot of stuff happening on screen at once. I feel like I gotta watch this in slow motion a couple times to catch every little detail, because they put so much care and attention into everything. So many little jokes. Yeah, I can tell a lot of people worked on this. Wow. I really like the premise. Creating a hotel for people to be redeemed. Demons to be redeemed. Fred Shred. Nice. Awesome. Post credit scene. He's still alive. Will you shoot me with your ray gun? Uh, <laughs> uh, that went by way so fast, way too fast. I couldn't even read it. Okay, what the heck? How was that a thirty-minute episode? That felt so so short. It just time just flew by, and I think it was edited also in a really fast-paced way, where something's always happening. It's hectic. It's chaotic, and I mean that in the best way possible. And I heard that Hell of a Boss is actually a spinoff, so I was really hoping that a lot of the characters in this show would make a comeback there because I really enjoy a lot of them already, and I wanted to see more of how this story played out. But I was looking up some of the song names after watching this episode, and I found out that Has Been Hotel is actually continuing this summer. And I'm recording this during May, so I chose an incredibly opportune time to watch uh, the first episode, so looking forward to its continuation. Uh, I don't think it'll change my plan, though. I'll still react to Hell of a Boss as planned, and we'll be ahead over on Patreon in the same way I mentioned before, but we'll do Has Been Hotel when it comes out, and yeah, I'm loving this so far. I know, just one episode in, but still, really and really enjoying this. Alright, let's talk about this ridiculous pilot, though. It opens on somewhat uh, a somewhat happy-sounding song, but there's definitely some imagery there that doesn't fit all too well. The pentagram, of course, and then it just got darker and darker until I re realized that we were in the depths of hell. And the song becomes sadder and darker about Charlie's state of mind. She's got this optimism that is in sharp contrast to everything else in hell. And what the heck, she's the princess of hell, and she's so cute and bubbly and kind-hearted. Uh, there was a moment in the song at the news studio where the demon came out a bit, though. That was really entertaining to see. But, yo, know, what does she have to do to get some damn respect down here? Like, her mom and dad are the king and queen of hell, but she seems to have, like, zero pull. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of nepotism, but my first impression is that the demons around her actually treat her worse because she's the princess. Like, damn. And of course, we don't have the context for what her parents are like and what they do here. We do know that they don't seem to be great parents to Charlie. Her mom won't return her calls, and Charlie even apologizes for possibly pushing the call too long, despite it being like a 30 second voicemail. And I don't know what's going on with her dad, but he seems to have talked down to her her entire life and instilled a sense of low esteem. 
And yeah, she's just too wholesome and too good for this place, which is probably exactly what it needs at the same time. But yeah, really, really love the concept here of trying to improve and become a better person in the afterlife. I mean, my favorite show might just be The Good Place, and this definitely has some similarity in its themes. And so, of course, I'm rooting for Charlie so, so much already, and I hope she's successful. Of course, she's going to run into a bunch of roadblocks along the way. And yeah, we actually learn about there being a cleanse every year where it's just like a culling because hell gets overpopulated. They double die, they go to double hell. And yeah, Charlie just wants what's best for the people living or residing here and wants to re rehabilitate them and send them to heaven. But I'm also very curious what level of bad people need to be to be sent to hell or what level of good people need to be to set be sent to heaven. What about people who are just like fine? And yeah, everybody we've seen down here has been a demon, but I guess they were all human once, right? Because we saw a depiction of the Earth globe, so what if we run into like actual, real, historical figures, but we don't even know because of their demon Zona? There are so many possibilities for where they could go with this storyline, and I'm um, very curious to see how it all plays out. And it seems like the implication is made that the people in Hell are generally pretty bad in one way or another. Though some things, like there are certain things that aren't sins that are displayed as such. Like I don't enjoy drugs or drinking, but I hardly think anybody should go to Hell for partaking. I don't even think they should go to jail for it, but no one seems interested in taking up Charlie on her idea. Angel Dust, it's unclear how sincere he's being since he's getting a free place to stay out of pretending or maybe earnestly trying to become better. And is there a part of him that actually is interested in the concept of becoming better, even a little bit? Um, definitely like his character design though, so many arms, and there's like this tuft of like hair that looks like boobs. It's very, very entertaining. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see how society goes when there are no real moral consequences. Like if you go over the line of what is acceptable behavior, what's the worst that can happen to you? You get sent to hell, you're already there. And there's depiction of like incredibly blatant homophobia, there's slut shaming, but it's all in the context of like these are horrible people, they're in hell for a reason. Meanwhile though, there's a turf war going on as well after the culling, people are trying to grab territory, power hungry people will do what they do, it makes sense. We had Serpentius versus Cherry Bomb, who had the help of Angel Dust, who she called in a favor for. I also really liked Vaggy as well, she and Charlie were just such wonderful platonic friends. No, I'm joking, they're definitely a couple. I mean, the news anchor basically confirmed that Charlie is gay at least, and yeah, she and Vaggy were just very tender with each other, but Vaggy like, clearly cares very deeply about Charlie, she's very protective of her, and definitely enjoys her eccentricities, but also has to rein her in sometimes. She tries so hard to get Charlie not to sing, unfortunately that didn't work out, but yeah, Vaggy definitely unleashes some anger on some deserving people in this episode, and it's fun to see that happen as well. And oh man, Alistair, he's delightful to watch but yeah definitely don't make a deal with him good job not shaking his hand charlie but yeah he's decided to help just for his own entertainment he seems so overly powerful too just showed up out of nowhere and started taking over everything curious if this redemption thing can even happen for him just slowly plant the seed of goodness in his heart we'll see if that works out at all but yeah, there were so many great, fun characters already. I'm so happy to learn that the show is continuing because I would have been very sad if we didn't get to see how uh, this story arc continued. And yeah, there are some people who are watching this right now who waited for four years and are just cursing out the fact that I don't have to wait a few weeks before I get to watch the continuation. But I'm happy about that. Thanks for watching though, friends. This is awesome. Glad I'm getting into it now and that there's more to come soon. Looking forward to che checking out the spinoff as well. But again, check out Patreon for the early reactions and I'll see you guys next week with more. Bye, friends.